Speaker, Juan Chor, President of Seaplane Architects and Planners, Seoul, Korea. Juan Cho is a founder and president of Seaplan Architects and Planners, founded in Seoul in 1998. He has also founded Seaplan and Associates in New York as a design studio in 2004. He graduated with a Master of Architecture in 1980 from Korea University. He uh, is a visiting professor at Korea University. Your report, please. Yeah, thank you. Uh, well, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Juan Jo, as uh, he told me. That before my presentation, is, uh, I'm a country representative of Korea for CTVH. All of us here from overseas, welcome to Seoul and enjoy your uh, season, very good season in, in here and join us. Okay, today's my topic is about uh, urban regeneration uh, to a certain uh, city center of Seoul for certain concepts and other some considerations to be built. Uh, so before my detailed uh, explanation, I would like to introduce some history of Seoul for your better understanding. Uh, this map is an ancient map of the city of Seoul. As you know, the city of Seoul has the, was the capital city of the Joseon dynasty uh, from uh, 600 years ago, as early 14th century. At that time, the area of the city of Seoul was like uh, 1,600 hectares in size and was located between uh, Northern Mountain and uh, uh, Southern River, Han River. It's a very small city. And the city was growing and growing during the 600 years. And finally, we can meet with this new current city of Seoul. And the size-wise, almost 60,000 hectares in size within a 600 years. So, uh, the, the, those kind of 600 years passed, the cityscape was changed during the ancient area to the modern city. And also the population wise, at the beginning of the city as the capital city of Joseon dynasty was almost 100,000 people. And nowadays, the population now wise is more than 10 million inside of the city only. It's almost 100 times in populations. Uh, but unfortunately, all the city, most of the city was destroyed during the Korean War in 1950s. Most is destroyed. And after several years later, the older nations will need to be reconstruction by the certain some uh, theory of the government named Semaul. And then the city of Seoul was uh, developed into two parts, uh, the Western part area and the Southern part area, alongside with the uh, intermediate Han River. And the Northern part of the city, as the main capital city of the ancient area, was developed like this shape. Inside of this, the Southern part of the city of Seoul developed also Like you are standing here in the Coex Center, it's heard of the southern part of the city, but the shape of the cityscape is much more developed rather than the northern area. I think because the reason why the southern area was the almost it was uh, uh, agricultural area and farmland, so that is easy to be uh, developed for the future cities. Now I'm uh, going to the main issue, main issue for the regeneration issues for some Gangbuk, I mean the northern part area especially, uh, with a certain concepts for a cultural linkage between old and new era, and the environmental uh, rehabilitation surrounding the, those areas, and also we need some consideration between of the urban life there.
For considering about the cultural basis, well, you can see the much uh, historical features and some uh, heritages we can find it. it is, it's called uh, uh, castles and palaces and gates. Most of the historical treasures are around it, our site. For example, uh, Jongmyo Shrine is located very close to our project, and the Gyeongbok Palace, and the Southern Gate. Those kind of historical features and the heritage is very close to each other in the northern part of the city. So that is a kind of certain some uh, restrictions to be developed in, in, in currently. Okay. For considering about the cultural basis, uh, our site, our project very close to the Jungmesh line. So uh, we need the master plan to considering about those kind of uh, issues. So it is uh, palace access we inducted in our site, and also as a kind of a urban fabric, like uh, those kind of old uh, road systems inside of and outside of the project. About environmental issues around the project, there are two strong issues about that to consider. One is uh, water features along with uh, from the west to east. And the other one is uh, uh, landscape features from the uh, Jongmyo Shrine a heritage to the southern mountain uh, Namsan. For the considering about the streams, ancient it was a very friend, uh, neighbor uh, friendly uh, features. Uh, everybody loved it to the streams. But after that, during the uh, Korean War and after the war. The streams became cities' waste disposals, and most of the uh, poor people's residences are located in there. And after that, the uh, city government decided to reduce uh, the streams and uh, make the uh, streams uh, uh, produce a high elevated speedway from uh, outside of the city to the city center. And also, they want to uh, cover the streams with the concrete paving. So no more, we cannot see the no more streams at all. And then, uh, currently, uh, uh, the uh, government decided to demolish the elevated, the high-speed structures, and digging out the concrete covering. You can see the maps and photos of the, those kind of uh, scenarios. And then, and then nowadays, the streams became the, as the form, as the original, like the, uh, uh, the origins. So people love loves it very much about the features. This is a kind of, we call it something urban uh, uh, re regenerations. About the green networks of the, the northern part of the city, uh, formerly there was a certain build, concrete building blocks up there, in the intermediate of there, like this. And then, or the government wants to demolish the concrete structure, take it out, and need some uh, green corridors between the uh, old heritage to the uh, southern park. So these two uh, environmental issues, uh, streams and uh, green corridors, uh, re re regenerated to our site. So the architect really wants to uh, combine these two kind of issues uh, together for into this uh, project. And the last one is about the people. Originally, the site was used and occupied by the marketplace. So uh, people was easily coming and out every time. They loved each other. So we need to remember those kind of people's behaviors in the, for the future of uh, uh, city life. So the project needs certain open spaces and also certain underground the second plazas and green spaces into the uh, project. 
So uh, we call it urban regeneration, the bridge cities has become to our uh, uh, new project. Uh, this project, we collaborated with the uh, uh, KPF New York office for a few years ago. And this, uh, I find Mr. Bill Patterson is uh, joining us today. I personally am thank you for your attending this meeting. So before my closing uh, uh, my presentation, I'll just introduce you certain some uh, uh, video renderings to explain our project. And thank you for your attention. And uh, I hope you enjoyed you, uh, this beautiful season in Korea, in Seoul, uh, during the uh, conference days. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for your presentation, Mr. Zhou. Uh, we're going to have uh, one question. Any question? Okay. Okay, thank, okay. You. thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. So, 